Let us try to create data frame from a JSON file. This JSON file people.json is located in HDFS at slash data slash spark. To take a look, you can either use file browser from within Hue or use Hadoop space FS space dash cat inside web console or SSH. You can see that this file contains three JSON object. Each line is a valid JSON object. Each of these lines are separated by new lines. Also, please note that the complete file is not a valid JSON object, while each line is a valid JSON object. To load the standard formats as data frame, the Spark session provides read object, which has various methods. Here, we are calling JSON method on read object of Spark. This is very similar to the way people usually load data in R. Here, the location by default is considered as HDFS. The DF variable refers to the constructed data frame. Please note that like RDDs, data frames are also lazily evaluated. On DF, we call various methods such as join, map, flat map, reduce or other transformations. On DF, we can query using SQL-like interface or R-like mechanism. So, to see the data, we would need to call df.show. The result would be displayed on the screen. You can see that it has inferred the structure of data from JSON. It has figured out the column names from JSON object and also fit the values into respective columns. The first JSON object did not have age attribute. Still, Spark was able to figure out the column name for that column because age is existing in the other JSON objects. So, you can see that it is pretty sophisticated way of processing big structured data available as JSON format.